Right, Coach, if you would uh, open us up with a statement about today's game. Um, yeah, just very proud of the girls, how they went about it. Um, first half, I thought, was very uh, very an even, even first half. I just asked a bit more of the girls at half time. Um, girls up front just to be able to provide, uh, just to hold the ball up for us a bit more. Um, I thought we did that. I thought we created some great chances. Um, but LME were always a threat with, uh, with Cravero and uh, Itzel, the 8 and the 12. Really, really good players. Um, and all credit to them. Uh, it, you know, it comes to uh, penalty kicks. You know, I always kind of smile when it goes to that because you just never know what's going to happen. You can have the best players in the world, the best keeper in the world, and it just uh, it, it happens the way it happens, you know. But very proud of how we played. I thought we, we tried to play in the right way, and, and uh, uh, just unfortunately, we, we came up short. Yeah, obviously, it's a quick turnaround for both teams, but LMU is able to come off the game where they already go to PKs, yeah. and then they don't even make a single sub tonight. What yeah. did you see? From their players having to respond. Oh, they did, they did fantastic. I'm fair play to them. Um, but uh, no, to play two games back to back within 24 hours, it's a lot to ask. But I think um, I know they'll be okay with it. But I'm glad we we decided not to go on Friday because I just don't think it would have had the spectacle that you know the games that would have been played here in the last two days. So. Um, I just can't thank the grounds crew enough for getting the pitch the way it was today. Um, and obviously Shelley and all her crew for getting this uh, whole thing set up and, and for all our, obviously our SIDs and everything. But no, credit, credit to LMU. Um, they had a lot left in the tank. And we, we stressed to the girls before the game that this could come down to just who wants it more, you know. Um, and I, I, I thought I, we left it all on the pitch as far as I'm concerned. But... Um, some great penalties taken as well, and it's just unlucky Alex. Alex doesn't get it done. We thought about it a couple times this, e this season. What does it say about having the fans that came out and supported you yeah. really taking the time out of their Sunday evening? That's great. You, you know, I sent an email to, to Mr. Ross Brummett this morning, and uh, he was already on it. No, it means, it means the world to have fans come out and, and uh, like you said, take time out of their Sunday evening on a, on a cold Sunday night and come out and support us. It was, it was fantastic. And I know it meant the world to our players and uh, gave them a lift. You know, when, you're, when you don't have a whole lot left in the tank, you know, some fans screaming your name or whatever can, can really get you going again. And I thought they, they did a great job for our, for our players. So I want to, obviously, very, very thankful for them. You send off a large group of seniors. What have they meant to you in your short time or two years here? Yeah, we just we just spoke down there with them. In my two years, it's been it's just surreal. You know, we obviously would love to have gone further this year, just just to really send our seniors off. Um, but I just they've created a a culture here. You know, you you walk by and see what they've done here in the last four years has been incredible. No other SAC team, no other no other Carson Newman team before that has done it. And and the teams that Moody had before and, and Phil McNamara before that were, you know, fantastic teams. But uh, I knew coming off of last year, the success we had, um, we'd have a massive target on our back. And I think we did a great job this season. We, we faltered a few times. Obviously, we challenged ourselves. We had the toughest schedule in the country. We didn't hide from anybody. Um, and uh, yeah, so just, I think the seniors, should be very, very proud, and, and, and rightly so. They're going to head, hold their heads up high and um, always welcome back here. Watching you, Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.